vlog number three. So if you guys remember in the last one, I was gonna make this one a Q and A. So I'm gonna read some of the questions that I was asked. The very first question I was asked, what kind of underwear do I wear? I wear Star Wars. How do I stay organized is another question I was asked. I do this a couple different ways. I write in a journal. I keep stuff on hard drives. I keep different folders on my computers. Tips for getting into photography and video editing. With photography, I'd say it's easier than editing video just because there's not a lot of detail that goes into it. I, I use Adobe Lightroom and for video I use Adobe Premiere. Another question I was asked is what's a future project I'd like to work on? Well, I already have a future project that I'm looking into doing. It's actually my first one going to be released in March, I'm hoping. It's a documentary series that I'm releasing, and it's about how to stay motivated and what happens when you're feeling unmotivated and how you get back in the groove of feeling motivated again. So look out for that. He just doesn't want to stay out of the videos. Camera hog. What books have I read or listened to? I recently just finished listening to Overlap by Sean McCabe, and that book's about overlapping your day job with what you really want to do with your passion. So, and I relate to that a lot because right now I'm overlapping my day job being a welder while wanting to do photography and videography full time. So I relate to that. And as for actually reading a physical book, I want to start reading Gary Vee's Crushing It. So I'm going to try to hopefully start that within the next couple of weeks. Looking for another question. What was one of the biggest struggles you faced getting into photography as a profession? Honestly, for me, the biggest struggles I've had doing photography as a profession is finding steady clients all year round because during the winter, when it's cold out and snowy, nobody wants to go out and take photos. I get a lot more business during the spring, the fall, and the summer because it's warm. It's not negative 10 degrees out. So I'd have to say that's probably my biggest struggle. How do I stay motivated? To be honest, I struggle with staying motivated sometimes, especially during the winter because I'm stuck inside and there's not much I can do to go out and explore. So for me, staying motivated, I either I'll watch videos on YouTube of motivation, I'll listen to podcasts about people living their dreams and that kind of gets me more motivated. Where have I traveled and where do I want to travel? Well, I've traveled to New York City to do photos. I've gone to Tennessee to do photos. I've gone to Chicago to do photos. And honestly, one of my top five places that I really want to go is Arizona, California, probably Utah, that would be cool too. I'd like to go to Florida just for photos and I'd love to go to like Europe, that'd be cool to do. Are there any new things you would want to do or try with photos slash videography? Yeah, there's, I'd love to be able to do it more consistently. I kind of am right now, but I'd also like to be able to do the stuff that I'm doing at aisle nine while doing my own stuff, whether it be before I go into aisle nine or after, just so I can, so I don't start to feel super burnt out making it seem like it's a day job getting stuck in the same motions every day. I want to be able to create what I want to create. What would be the coolest animal to scale up to the size of a horse? This little guy. He'd be cool to be the size of a horse. Wouldn't you like to be the size of a horse, Flash? He doesn't care. Alright guys, so that's, I'm gonna say that's enough questions for this vlog number three. I have a couple ideas for vlog four, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know I didn't have that many questions, but I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, also, did you guys see this? This is pretty cool. One of my friends made it for me, and he got the light up around it. My wife helped me with that. It's sweet, I love it.